Hello, Jesse Good here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO DC Superheroes 2018 Speed Force Freeze Pursuit set, which has 271 pieces, four minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here's the reverse flash, and even though it looks like a regular yellow on my camera, it's actually a yellowish orange. I wish it was a regular yellow, because I just like that better than yellowish orange. But this is a character people have been wanting forever, and I think they did a great job with this. They recolored the Flash's helmet, the, you know, classic Flash helmet. Underneath, you can see he has some evil red eyes and then an alternate facial expression right there, which looks pretty good with the helmet back on. So the only other exclusive character in the set, which is the only other villain in the set, is Killer Frost. All the minifigures, though, are exclusive in their design. So this design has a great new facial print, torso, and you can see it even has some back printing and an alternate expression, which is covered by her white, I think it's called a bob cut hair. I'm not sure, which is actually a pretty rare color to get this hair piece on, but it's not exclusive to this set. For the Flash, this is a new design that's similar to his initial Lego appearance from 2013. This one does have a different torso with these little lightning uh, bolts throughout and also a new facial print, even though it's a little bit similar to that initial release. You can see he has a smiling face and then just a really happy face right here. And it looks pretty good with the cowl on as well. Also, they give you a power blast with the flash, which you just push on there and that goes shooting. And the two really are a reverse of each other because you got reverse flash with the red up here and the yellow on the body with the regular flash having the yellow up here and the red on the body. So Cyborg is a hybrid of new and also the DCEU version, which I guess is still fairly new. So we have this hair and uh, mask combo, I guess you could say, and the same face print as the one from the DCEU, but the torso is completely new in design. I love getting this face print in a cheap set because the only DCEU set it comes in is the Flying Fox Justice League set, so that's great as an easy, cheap way to get it. Also included is the minifigure accessory energy infuser, which it's quite weird because it's the same exact design as the one from the other two sets, except it has blue this time around. So it's not really exclusive to any of the sets because it appears in all three. This set also gives you some of those new translucent uh, minifigure accessories, which you could apply to Killer Frost as seen here. And I guess they look cool as equipment, though I wish the quality of them was a little bit better. So here are the two builds of the set. You got Killer Frost's little freeze vehicle and then this helicopter. So here is Cyborg's helicopter, which just has two rotors right there. Always fun to spin those. But the design of this I like because it kind of harkens back to a specific Alpha Team set I remember when I was young. This little design right here for the cockpits is actually quite sleek and doesn't harken to like a Lego City helicopter, which I really like because I'm getting so tired of those. We have this stickered piece right here, which is basically supposed to be the control panel because there's nothing inside for Cyborg to control. Though I guess since he's a machine, I think he has powers to control stuff. That's what I got from the Justice League movie. Either way, the design of this also has this little net right here, which I guess you could use to capture reverse flash. Now you can just push this and the net shoots out. It is a new net design where it is circular and it's pretty stretchy, I like that. I like the part usage of this arrow shooting piece from Nexonites being used in gray. That's pretty cool at the front. Also on the side right here, they have two stud shooters, which work pretty darn well. The back on both sides uses this identical sticker, and that's just at the tail. And then up top right here, they have this nice design, which is a sticker, but uh, it's very easy to put on. It's not annoying or anything like that. The reason I say that a lot now is because I've been having some bad experience with the really small stickers and they've just been a pain in the butt to put on. There is a play feature where they tell you to remove these two parts at each end. So you have this little stud shooter right here, as well as this design up top here. And you're supposed to add these to the Cyborg minifigure as just an add-on weapon. I think that's actually really funny, but creative. So that's it for the helicopter. Now on to the other build. So here is Killer Frost's ice car. And yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. This little sticker up front does not look anything like a Lego uh, design. I don't know. Uh, those little Frost pieces don't look Lego-like. I don't, I don't like that. The design of these big wheels right here make it look like a Junior's car. Now they use some of those minifigure attachments right here. So you have one for this thing to represent, I guess, ice shooting out of that. But you also have two stud shooters right here. Also here is this little blast of ice, which is the same one from here, just to show the engine kind of uh, coming out. It is nice to get this piece right here in that translucent light blue color. 
But yeah, not a fan of this one. It looks too, I don't know, juniorized. It's very specific. At least with the helicopter, you can use that as like kind of a generic helicopter and it has this unique design. This is very specific to something Killer Frost would use or a Captain Cold. So yeah, that's it for the build. Now let's go on to the packaging and then the final verdict. So the box is just the expected $30 box size, which on the back shows some of the play features. And the instructions is actually pretty thick. And we have the little ad for the other 2018 sets and the Mighty Micros right there. So when I first saw this set, it wasn't high in my priorities. Then as we grew close to release date, which as you guys saw with the winter 2018 most wanted video, it really became something that I wanted. And I do not regret buying it. It's actually a really solid set. You see with that helicopter, it's a design that I could relate to old Alpha Team sets. So it has that nostalgia kick. However, it's been a while since Alpha Team has come around. So this is a modern day version of that. And it's generic enough that I could use it in different settings. It's not like so specific to Cyborg. So it's not like, oh yeah, I've got to use Cyborg's helicopter. No, this is kind of like a sleek, I don't know, even secret agent-like helicopter. The design of it and everything is so fresh compared to something of, I guess, LEGO City. Because LEGO City, we get so many helicopters. It's the same old design. It gets tiring. This shows that LEGO could still innovate or build upon old designs even at this day and age. Then for Killer Frost's vehicle, I can't really excuse it. It's pretty crappy. The design of it is very kiddish. I don't see a lot of adults getting any enjoyment from it. it looks like something from a LEGO Junior set. But the minifigures are a great selection. All are exclusive. We get the long-awaited reverse flash. And that's all packed into a $30 set. So as a whole, I'd end up bringing this one a B. I could have done without Killer Frost's vehicle, but I really like the helicopter and the exclusive minifigures. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.